Not what we have is head knowledge, but what we know is heart knowledge. Come on. And so what we're facing right now is God's about to test what's head and what's heart. Come on. Yeah. And if it's all up here, you're not, you're not ready yet. You're not ready to go into the furnace because you would renounce your faith anyway. You say, you know what? If it comes between me and actually being burned alive, because that's these three Hebrew boys, you'd say, you know what? Hang on, Jesus. Let's take a break. You know, I'm not really going to deny you, but I don't want to go to a furnace. So I'm going to kind of fake it and tell him, you know what? Okay. Kind of like Peter. You may say, I'd never do that. But Peter started cussing and said, I've never seen that man right there. One who walked with Jesus would deny him three times. And Jesus had prophesied. That's exactly what he's going to do. And so when Jesus got up from the grave, the first thing he said is go tell the disciples and Peter. He cut him out of the realm of discipleship because he denied him. It wasn't until repentance that he could actually come back. Amen. I don't want Jesus saying the disciples and Caleb. Mm. Jesus. No. Amen. Amen. Somebody with me? Yes, brother. And so warfare is something that you could dance about, sing about, shout about, preach about, but can you act on it in the face of it? And that's what we're dealing with in this story. And I want you to understand this because now it's their life or Jesus. Amen. Amen. And actually it was supposed to be their life and Jesus. Love not your life even unto death. If going in this furnace means I've got to die for the cause of Christ, let it be said because I'm not worshiping that false beast. I'm not going to worship that image. I'm not going to lay down my life for a piece of gold. I'm going to lay down my life for the one who laid down his life for me. Yes. And so the Son of God revealed himself in the middle of them actually stepping in. Can you imagine? And we're going to deal with this furnace because I don't think we understand the heat of it. We think of it just kind of like a few logs and, you know, it's like a fireplace and you got to just kind of just sit in the fireplace a little bit and slowly burn. We're talking about something as hot, if not hotter, than a crematory. Mm. I don't want to get into this. I'm just not a super fan of cremation because it takes 100 years for your body, believe it or not, to return back to dust. And it takes three to five hours to put it into dust in a crematory. I think I'll just wait out the 100 years. <laughs> Anyways. 